Exciting news! Elemental version 3.4 is out! Well, it's in beta mode at the moment, but thanks to Ben Pines for alerting us on the Elemental Community Hub and the Elemental Facebook Community Group as well. Thank you for that, Ben. So let's have a check out of it. Well, to be honest, I want to check out one key feature, the menu cart. Now, we've known for a while that Elemental have been planning to do some funky stuff with the WooCommerce um, widgets that we're very much accustomed to. And I, I was wondering, well, what are they going to do? What I'm going to show you is the menu cart. I kind of said that, didn't I? And the reason being is because I think that is going to be probably the most useful widget, well, for me anyway, and for some of my clients who are using the Hello theme. Let's have a look at that. I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. I hope you follow us, like us, subscribe, have a look at our social media accounts. Help us to help you get the most out of Elemental and WordPress to help you, your client, your businesses, the world, and everybody else out there. Probably not everybody, but, you know, I like to kind of be a little bit inventive. So, how do you get Elemental version 3.4 beta, beta mode? Well, if you want to get hold of it, there are a few things you've got to do. So don't just assume, oh, I can go and download it and update it. It will suddenly appear. It doesn't work like that. So the first thing you've got to do is go to Elemental. Right, and then you want to go over to uh, your tools, like so, and you want to go to version control. And this is where you would normally roll back if there was an issue. Now, at the bottom here, you have become a beta beta tester, okay? Make sure this is enabled. This is probably going to be disabled for a lot of you. Make sure that's enabled, okay? Yep, save changes. Save changes. Don't forget to save your changes, okay? Let me just quit my email and my Slack because I don't want you to see all my secret messages. Right, okay, cool. Then what you've got to do is go over to Dashboard, go to Updates, dun, 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 and then hit Check Again. Because just because you've enabled beta, beta mode, it won't automatically appear. You've got to hit Check Again. When you've done that, you will then get a pop-up saying there is now a new version. Well, you'll probably say Plugin. There's now a plugin awaiting your activation. You go over to your plugins and it will then say 3.4 is available, now upload, okay? And go ahead and upload it. Just make sure that you're doing this on a staging site or you've got a backup available as well. Don't do it on your main site because you know, hey, you should always wait a little bit. Don't just jump in and do it. Right, now let's have a look at what this menu does and why is it gonna be useful? Those of you that use Astra, an ocean and other themes, you're going to see some of this and you're going to go, it doesn't really do anything majorly different to what I already got. You are right and you are wrong. Okay, and I will cover that in a moment. But if you've got using Hello, like me, for most of our sites, with Hello, you don't get exactly what I'm going to show you in a moment with Hello. Because Hello is a very basic, super clean theme. Okay, so let's just see what the add to menu cart does and why it's better for Hello and how it actually, for those of you that are using Astro and Ocean P, they're going to go, nah, this isn't doing much. Believe me, it does more than what you currently get. Let's go in. Let's go to pages. Okay, let's just create a new page. And I'm going to call this page cart. <laughs> so now we're in the page. And we are going to add in the menu cart. There it is. Now you're familiar with this, right? If you use WooCommerce, it's going to give you a basket like so. There it is, just up there. And you can decide how big you want it. Let's just make it a cart solid. No, not cart solid. No, we'll leave it as cart medium, actually. We'll leave it like that, okay? And hide empty, show your subtotal. So as people add things in, is it going to total it up? Yes or no, you know, etc. How are you going to display it, whether there's a bubble or plane? You know these features. There's nothing fantastical, fancy about it. Let's just go to the style, okay? And I can also now change the size of the icon as well and how we're going to do it. So I could mess around with it. And if you've got a header, you could position it in your header next door to your menu, next door to your logo. You could have it on your page. You could add it to a button and you could position it to the left or right hand side of your button. Yeah, this is all pretty standard stuff that comes with WooCommerce, Hello, and Elemental. But here's the new feature. Right, let's just go back over. Well, I gave it away there. I gave it away. Content. At the moment, okay, 
If you look down here, there is an option called cart. You have additional options, you don't need to worry about that. We have cart. At the moment, it is set as a side cart. You click that, you get the side cart. In fact, let's just put it on the other side so you can see it, and it's not covering my face or I'm not in front of it. It's a side cart. And for those of you that use Astra, you're going to look at that and go, yeah, that's Astra. In Hello, you don't get that option. You click cart in Hello, and you straight away go to like the checkout page or something like that, as, as the, you know, the option here, view cart, for instance. But now it is here with hello. So it's doing something you already got with Astra. However, in Astra, you didn't really get the option to mess around massively with the typography and the style of that cart. Yes or no? You're really good with your CSS. You could have messed around, you know, tinkered with it. But a question that cropped up in the Elemental Community group, the hub, was how do I tinker with the look of this? And they were using Astra. Ding, ding, ding. Now you can. So I just want to show you, we have the side cart. Does it open on click or hover? You know, like, look, I just hover it. Whoa, that is brilliant. Now you don't even have to click. You just hover over and it appears. We also have the mini cart. What is the mini cart, you say? There's the mini cart. It's a little... It's like your bag ripping open when you're walking. Oh no, everything's falling down. No, it's not. It's just opened up in a drop down. Okay, so that's a nice little feature as well. Again, on the side cart, again, you know, you hover, it appears. And uh, I mean, this is really cool. I just think in the way, I mean, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Leave it on left align. Um, you can even set the distance. So let's just say, let's just move this all the way over here. It's now way below. If I do that, it's now off the screen. So think about where, you, how you're going to position it. Okay. If I do the side one, you don't have that option. So bear in mind with the side and the mini, you're going to get different display options and how it's presented. Let's stay on the side cart for now. Uh, is there going to be a close icon? Well, yeah. Or do they click off the screen? So you decide how that looks. Is there going to remove I item icon? So can we remove? Yes. Maybe you don't want them to remove. Very, very naughty of you to take that away, but you can now do that. Um, you can start to decide on the price and quantity. How is it positioned? So let's put it at the bottom. It is at the bottom. Let's put it at the top. That didn't really change much, did it? Oh, yeah, there you go. Look, you see the space there. It's now kind of slightly spaced out there in terms of how it's positioned. So before the top is at the top, at the bottom would put it further down. One of the things, though, that used to bug me about Astra. You add an item, and the item would be present twice in that preview cart thing. So woo, and then woo again. And you go, but I've only added it once. It's only charging me once. So why the heck are you showing it to me twice? It's only showing me once here. Golden Elemental Cart Dividers. So, uh, you know, that's going to be basically like the line that would appear at the bottom here. Between the items, you can have that or not. View cart, check out. Do you want to have them present? Do you not want to have them present? This is pretty, pretty smart. I like it. And what about the mini cart? You have the option for the distance. And again, it's the same functionalities that we already have there. Let's now go to the style. So, you know, we can start to mess around with the look of it. So let's give it an orange color. Let's give it a background color of black. Why am I doing this? This is evil. Evil, evil, evil. This is not the best way to present it. But I'm just showing you how you could start to mess around. Let's give it a white font for that. Like, look, you know, I mean, okay, the cart isn't any different. And the styling I've shown you there for the menu, you could have done anyway in um, uh, Elementor and Hello anyway. But if we now go down here, see here, we have cart for the style. I'm going to set the background color to be black. And um, the close button will set to a white. Let's just see how it looks. So we're starting to get some of the styling in now. But we can really start to mess around with it. So the typography, which I'm not doing yet. Let's put it as a white font. There we go. We're getting the white font in. That uh, pink color is part of the standard hello um, theme color that you're going to get. Which, again, you can eradicate or do what you want with it. Okay. Um, so. Um, I was about to say something and I've forgotten what it was now. But basically, you've got your options down here where you can start to mess around with it. You have products as well. 
you know, with how are you going to display that, the typography, the styling, look, let's just, let's just do something really stupid, let's just do that. Whoa, look at the title for that now, it's ridiculous, okay? But you can start to mess around with how it looks, the buttons as well, so you now have a lot more control, and I'm really sorry that I'm not doing this in a more sophisticated way, but I just want to get across side cart and mini, I mean, that looks awful, doesn't it? Like, you're sitting there going, you cannot leave it like that. You must change it. All right, fine. I'll put it to 20 or something like that. But you can mess around with the quantity, the divider, the look of it. Um, th th there's a lot you can do with this, in, in my opinion. Okay, th there's so much you can do with this. And I just think that having this now facility where you can brand the way that car... Let me go back a step. I did a website once and they wanted a very dark look and then when we had in the uh, the cart page pop up because we were using Astra it was we still had the, the kind of the pale grey white look and it just jarred on the website now you don't have that now you have this and this to me now means that if you wanted that cart look that we have here at the moment and you were using hello you're kind of sorted because you were missing out on this unless you use Astro. Now you don't. You've got this full on customization. And for those of you that doubt what we are using, you know, I don't care. This is a test page. Leave the page. Let me just make sure you believe me that we were using the hello theme. Hello. There we are. OK, WooCommerce. Hello. Elemental. 3.4 beta, beta, butter, butter. I love this feature because it just gives you a load more customization that we never had before. Well done, Elemental. Hey, I hope you like this. I hope you subscribe. I hope you follow us. And please keep up to date with me, Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. Hoping to help Elemental work for you a lot more better than it already does because it is really good. So do I make it work better for you or am I just talking? I'm probably talking a lot. Take care.